As of late, there's been plenty of speculation regarding Rovio's long-term strategy, specifically a landmark that has been referred to as a long-format television series. Sporadic information has surfaced over the past few months, and I've been holding on to making this simply because of the limited information. Well, we finally got solid information regarding the developers and a basis for the premise. This according to AnimationMagazine.net. Brand new character designs have come out of the shell for the much-anticipated new Angry Birds animated series. A cake production developed in partnership with Rovio Entertainment and Toronto-based Yowza Animation. The series started development in October of 2018 and marks the franchise's first flight into long-form series territory. The new look reveals a fresh visual approach and an original take on the Angry Birds brand, which sees much-loved characters Red, Chuck, and Bomb as tween birds. Accompanied by a cast of brand new feathered friends, a host of troublemakers, and the much maligned piggies, our fledgling heroes escape the confines of school life in an ultimate tale of feathers, friendship, and trouble. Explosive antics and improbable pranks see the birds pushing boundaries and breaking all the rules as they cope with rivalry and fitting in, in crazy summertime adventures that Angry Birds fans of all ages are sure to enjoy. This new series will be called Angry Birds Sling Into Madness and is set to debut in either late 2020 or early 2021. Well, I think we all already know what I think of this. Unnecessary, franchise deconstructing, cash grab, cheap, shameless, you name it. Any word you'd usually describe modern Rovio with, it applies here. Uninspired, unoriginal new characters now in a school setting as teenagers? As if things couldn't get any further from Angry Birds Classic. And you know what? I wouldn't have such a problem with this series if they didn't use the pre-established Angry Birds characters just to make a quick buck. The new animation style looks unpolished to say the least, very incomplete for a TV series. The birds in this image look very smooth, too smooth. It actually reminds me of a lot of those CG animated shows from the 2000s. In my opinion, this is a complete abomination of the Angry Birds I came to know and love. Just come on, it speaks for itself. I sincerely hope this isn't the final product. Perhaps this is an early test image or a pilot of sorts. The only thing that could save this is the premise, which seems very flat and uninspiring on the surface. I have nothing against Cake or Yowza, but seriously? In 2019, this is the best you got? I do lend a bit of faith in the fact that Cake has experience in the teenage aspect of cartoons, as they worked on one of my all-time favorites, Total Drama Island. Right now on Total Drama Island. And before you blast me in the comments for judging a book by its cover, I can firmly say this is the most shameless plot created just to milk these characters even more, because that appears to be the only real connection to the game. I actually do kind of like the overall designs of Red, Chuck, and Bomb, as they seem to have some key defining features. I'd actually like to see these in the 2D style, or rather rendered in a better light. Don't get me wrong, they're no classic or tunes design, but they're certainly a step up from the movie designs. Overall, I'm hoping this series surprises me. Be more like Angry Birds on the run and less like Makerspace. So far, it just seems unoriginal, and that's really what I don't like. Cake will also be taking control of Angry Birds' official YouTube channel operations and projects. Maybe they'll be able to improve upon Rovio's social media team's work as of late. They'll also be heavily involved in future Angry Birds on the run episodes, which will now be in the long style format as well. Not sure if that style of series suits Angry Birds on the run exactly, but no doubt season one was a standout. Hopefully they won't dilute the elements that made on the run such a great series. More information to come on Rovio's relatively new long-term partnership. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Come back next time for another Angry Birds news update. Leave a comment down below saying whatever the heck you want, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.